Hey folks, JD here. And today, one of our subscribers, K6LSN, has got a little question for us. Well, I say question, it's more of a statement, more of a thing. Um, and that is, I record a lot using my screen recorder, and I do. Uh, that's because I've had a few really bad experiences in the past when it comes to stopping video recording, forgetting to stop video recording, and the um, losing the, the video output. So, I do screen recording because likewise you can see my controls, you can see everything, I think it is a better way to view. Now, but I do also like to have a ex fully exported video format, uh, a, a raw, raw video if you wish. And, it can push the smartphone's capabilities a little bit, this is why I use quite a up-to-date smartphone. Um, and what we're going to do today is we're going to take up two quadcopters. We're going to take up the Tello and we're going to take up the Me Too. And essentially what we're going to do with these two is we are going to see, I'm going to do screen recording and record on this one, and screen recording and record on this one, and see side by side if there is any difference. Now I've chosen these two because out of all the other quadcopters that I've currently got on rotation, these are the two which are the most reliable and have sometimes the, uh, the, most be the best video quality at the, at the moment, uh, without there being a huge GPS quadcopter or my Spark. Um, now, because this is where we've seen some of the frame rate skipping as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take up the Tello first, fly it around gently, see what it's like recording video and recording uh, my screen and see exactly side by side which one is better. So. Let's take up the Tello first. Okay, so what I'm going to do, record my screen, beautiful, and I'm going to record, come on, there we go, Whoop. a lot of flipping back and forth, there we go, I'm going to record some video there as well, so just check, video screen recording is recording, and now my video is recording as well, so let's take her up. Right, now this is only going to be a little flight of both. I'm going to keep them really quite close. So I'm just going to move them around a little bit. I have got longer range. I do believe I have better range with the Me Too than I have with the Tello, just straight off the bat. And I'm going to see exactly how this goes and how this feels, because it's not laggy on the controls at all. We seem to be okay. Now if I just leave her there for a second and just take her up a little bit and just leave her there for the second so you can see, well you can't see the whole field but you can see a good amount of it and see what it's like as you can see it's colossal absolutely huge and you can't get a perspective from where I'm standing for the second but that's quite a nice amount of video there if I bring it down a little bit there we are down to a height of 10 foot now beautiful, turn it around there we go, we've got some good signal from this today, really do. In low mode, which is very controlled, very gentle. All in all though, looks okay. And I'm just checking now and again, just putting my, my, my eyes down to the bottom of the screen, just so I can see my smartphone. And I'm not seeing any frame rate skipping for the second at all. Looks to be, pretty good but I'm sure we'll see in the side by side anyway what it's like let's hand land uh, tap ok open your palm and a flat object use your hand landing with caution am I too high? I am far too high for the hand landing I think yeah far too high let's bring her down let's bring her down a little bit now then let's hand land her again That is better, that is better. Far too high the first time. Right, okay, so I'm gonna do, stop the recording. And then I'm going to try the Me Too. I'm gonna be using the English version of the app, same as we did the other day. Right, so for this, I'm gonna connect directly to the Wi-Fi, same as we did with the Tello. I'm showing you guys exactly what I did. And, oh. Damn it, just turned it all off. Right, okay, let's connect. And we should be good. Come on. It's very slow, very slow to connect. 
There we go, perfect. Now if I open up the English version of the app, which I think is that one, yes it is. I'm gonna wait till I'm actually in the app because I do find the screen recording, unless I'm actually in the app, I do have a bit of an issue. Capturing image, perfect, we're good. Screen recorded, three, two, one. Screen's now recording. Let's record some video as well. So, video, recording, let's take off. Right, up to an altitude. Let's increase that altitude slightly. I'm gonna do what I did with the Tello, and I'm gonna just fly around a little bit. Or, 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 origin, uh, already, I can see that this, in speed mode one, in its slowest speed mode, is a lot quicker. So what I'm gonna do is bring her back to me a little bit, and I'm going to raise. Leave her get a little bit stable for the minute. I'm gonna give her a little bit of yaw just to turn her around to where I think the teller was. I'm gonna take her up a little bit. There we are, she's at her maximum height. She's moving a lot more than the teller was. Hell of a lot more than the teller was. Let's bring her down a little bit, because she is, look at her, going absolutely crazy. Okay, a bit of stability there, please. Right, okay. Recorded a bit of the field there. Why is she so erratic today? Maybe it's the colour, maybe it's the lights, maybe it's everything she can't get, us, maybe she can't focus, because it's not a uh, the same vision system as you get inside the Tello. Okay, so let's move her around a bit. And yes, she is a lot quicker in this particular speed mode and her range is a lot a lot longer as well a lot yeah than the the tello just directly i'm not on the repeat here Whee. again just as much fun as the tello to, tello to fly though really good really really good so let's just take her around a bit more gonna get roughly the same amount of footage two minutes and something uh just so that we can get a nice little amount of, of video here see exactly how we go now the whole reason for doing this with the smartphone devices again is just so that I can use quadcopters that are native smartphone control. Because you're using the smartphone for control, you're blasting out the Wi-Fi, it's broadcasting Wi-Fi, it's receiving Wi-Fi uh, from the drone rather. You are controlling it as well as using um, it to film the screen as well as using your uh, smartphone as well to actually capture the image. Uh, from the quadcopter. So all in all, I think that's done a pretty good job. So what I'm gonna do is just bring her down because she's taking herself up there. Wait, what are you doing? You crazy little thing. Right, I'm sure it's something to do with this light. Okay, let's knock off the video, video complete. And then let's stop my screen recording there as well. And let's bring this guy back a bit. There we go. That should be about right. And let's land. There we go. So there we are, we've landed. So I'm hoping that that is going to be quite good. Now I'm hoping as well that I've got my, yeah, there we go, everything's recorded. So let's turn off the quadcopter there. Both side by side, both recorded in the same field, the same day, the same environmental factors, same smartphone. Uh, and I'm hoping we're going to get a good little image out of both of them. So there we are, folks. I hope, you, I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.